It seems as if ICOs are all the rage today. And if you were lucky enough to invest in some of the ICOs, you could have made, well, up to 200 times your money. Some people I know invested $20,000 into an ICO, and today, well, they're dollar millionaires. But how do you know which ones will work and which ones will fail? I've got Ian Bellino on the line from New Zealand, and pretty simply, Ian is the ICO man. Ian, a lot of money flowing into ICOs right now. Why is this happening? ICOs are the new bull market right now, right? And people who get into crypto are, are learning how much money people are making. They also know they missed the boat to Bitcoin, to Ethereum, and all, all these other great projects. So they're trying to catch the next rocket ship, right? So people are seeing new ICOs come out and seeing the big gains. For example, my, my community has seen lots of big gains in, in ICOs like Icon. I put 20 grand in Icon back in September, and in four months it turned to over $1 million. So Icon has done over 100x, so has Wabi, so has uh, Dragon Chain is almost pushing 100x. So people are seeing these new ICOs and trying to find the next Bitcoin, the next Ethereum, and they feel like ICO investing is the way to catch that, right? Because they do, they feel like they're kind of late to the party, and they feel like if they get in at the ground floor and brand new projects, they can potentially see those same uh, ROI. Ian, there are a lot of scams out there right now, and if they're not scams, well, there's some ICOs that just aren't great ICOs. How do you know where to put your money? Me and my community apply data and analytics to figure out and filter out which ICOs are scams, which ICOs are bad, based on the ROI from the investor's perspective, right? So we call this token metrics. So we go through and look at the best ICOs of all time based on ROI, right? So ICOs like Ethereum, NEO, Stratus, we have about 25 ICOs or so, and we plot multiple data points, over 15 data points, both quantitative and qualitative data points, and figure out which data points matter the most in terms of ROI, right? And the answer is, is pretty obvious, but for somebody who's brand new in cryptocurrency investing, it could it's not so obvious all the time, right? So the, the best factor when it comes to picking an, an ICO is, do they have a prototype? Is there a product, right? Is there any kind of shipped code? Right. So that means if you're going through 40 ICOs every single day, because about 30 or 40 ICOs are happening every day now. Right. You can quickly, quickly filter out the scams from those that have no actual product. And how would the average investor participate or get their hands onto the spreadsheet that you're using? So I share my spreadsheet, which I personally use to invest publicly. It's now become one of the most popular spreadsheets online, I think. Uh, so you can find that by going to ianbelina.com slash spreadsheet where I go through and I just transparently share my analysis on each ICO I look at, right? This is this comes from my community, from my audience, from my live streams. We go through and share and, pl and, and analyze every single ICO and put it publicly available on the spreadsheet for free. Ian, where would someone go to join your community? They can go to my telegram by going to ianbelina.com slash mastermind. We have over 20,000 people going through ICOs, sharing their idea, their opinions, their analysis on each ICO. And this is what helps us not miss any ICO, no matter where it is across the world. Ian, uh, I'm going to put you on the spot here today. Uh, what are the top five ICOs on your spreadsheet today? So my top ICOs right now, uh, so I like Go Network is a big one. Disclosure, I'm, I'm advising them. I also like Gems. Gems is a big one. I think right now there's... a uh, so I take community engagement into account when also evaluating ICOs. It's a, it's a particular data point I have as well. So Gems is a good one. Uh, I also like Nucleus Vision, which is one I'm advising. I like Bozell. Bozell is building very, very disruptive technology. Um, and I also like Orchid Protocol, which is one that's kind of under the radar. Um, they're raising mainly from funds, but it's one I think I'm very, very bullish on. I think it's going to do big things. That's all the time we have for tonight. Uh, I'm gonna go get my hands onto the Ian Bellina spreadsheet to work out which ICO is paying for my brand new Lambo. If you haven't been following me on Twitter, now's a great time to start because uh, I've been tweeting live from the North America Bitcoin conference in Miami and I'm gonna to continue to tweet tomorrow. Next week, I'm back with another episode of the world's biggest crypto show. Until next week, my friends, bye the dip.